Hey ladies and gentlemen, so I made my delivery this morning and uh, so uh, anyways, uh, let me give you, how you doing by the way, uh, just kind of giving you guys an update and uh, so I got the uh, air leak fix, I mentioned that yesterday and uh, so um, I tightened up the fuel line and uh, it's above the uh, transmission see it has a crossover and from there the crossover feeds up into the motor there's two of them and uh, so I tightened up one that I thought was loose and this morning I took off at 1:30, and I kept smelling diesel wasn't a good thing so so anyway so I made my delivery and uh, after I made my delivery I was like two miles from the interstate and I am parked on the on-ramp and it is a tight squeeze but I'm on the uh, outside of the fog line so I'm good so I'm also uh, looking at the low you can see it there everything's under two dollars a mile one guy just called me want me a haul uh, scaled 48,000 pounds which we already know that can't do uh, just found that out on my last load truck handled it like a champ which surprises me because uh, I just now uh, got my greasy jumpsuit on and put on a beanie so I didn't have to wash the grease out of my hair again. See, there it is, right there on top of the dash. So <laughs> I got up under there and uh, I soaked down uh, all the air fittings that I worked on yesterday and there are no air leaks. So I must have a bad airbag or something like that but any hue so so we'll have to continue that later that's not a big wahoo but I did want to know what was their fuel was coming where that fuel was coming from and so anyway there's two crossover tubes like I said and you have one from either tube I mean either tank excuse me you have one from either tank and there's two of those so uh, you have two of those that come from either tank and then head back up to the motor and uh, so that being said I left the motor running got up there squeezed my head up there between the drive line and and the frame and was able to get up there with a flashlight and I could see drip 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 and uh, it was a uh, three-quarter so I got a three-quarter on there and tightened it up it was tight uh, the hose is a goner and uh, so I traced it down the hose actually goes to the uh, to the uh, the mount that's on the side of the block that's got the pump on it so that filter housing so it goes to that and it has a three-quarter inch on either end and it's like a six or seven foot long hose and so now that I know that, uh, that puts me at ease because now I know what the problem is. Uh, I was thinking it might be one of those crossovers, you know, and maybe it was, you know, the, yeah, one of the crossovers. And then you'd have to disconnect the hoses to the tanks, and that could be fun. Man, imagine taking a diesel bath. <laughs> I've done that before and it's no fun especially when you're on the side of the road so uh, so yes uh, I am very surprised though uh, that it hasn't lost pressure um, while sitting it starts right up so that's pretty interesting although it does go on the second filter so I don't know. Uh, I thought maybe it was a return hose, but anyway, at least I know what hose it is. I don't know if it comes off the back of the, it. It doesn't come off the back of the motor. It comes off the back of that housing. So the other filter is the one that comes directly off the tank. And anytime you have problems, that's the one. It get water. It goes in that other one first. So it's. So fuel goes into that one, and then from there it goes to the other one. So it's I don't know. Uh, I, I'm I'm trying to think if that's the return hose. It must be. 
It must be. <laughs> I think it is. It's a return hose. So that's why it's not bleeding off when it sits. Because if it was any other hose, it would bleed off and it wouldn't want to start. So, But anywho, so I know what that is. And I need to look at the load board and see if I can find a load. Uh, everything, like I said, is under $3 a mile. There you are. It's getting late in the week, so they're trying to get it closer. But they're doing everything they can to keep it under $3 a mile. So, uh, wow, I've been rambling on for five minutes <laughs> so anywho ladies and gentlemen i just wanted to give you that update uh, what was going on what i was dealing with and uh look here if i don't get a load uh i'll be going home uh i don't i'm not gonna sit i'm only 500 miles from the house 500 miles that's 200 miles uh, 200 in cash or 225 in cash to go home mind you i'm not leaking it out on the ground it might cost me some more <laughs> But anyway, but uh, Freightliner will be open on Saturday, so I can stop and get that hose somewhere. One of the Freightliners, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully, you're having a wonderful day and you're not leaking fuel on the road like I am. And that stuff's pretty pricey, you don't want to do that. So, no wonder I was getting 4.6 miles of the gallon. <laughs> you have a wonderful day, God bless, and later. <laughs>